Now tomorrow is Mother's Day, and yesterday I gave my mom a big old flower arrangement. She posted pictures of the flowers on Facebook, just like any mother would, and she ended up getting over 70 likes. Now this may not seem strange to you, but her other posts hardly get even 20 likes. So why did this post go viral? In Contagious, Why Things Catch On, Jonah Berger tries to explain why things go viral. The first concept he talks about is social currency. How does talking about something make you look? Are you going to be talking about a venture capitalist who spent a million dollars on a building? Are you going to be talking about your brother who has a mobile? Or are you going to be talking about some fact that you saw about Donald Trump? There's a psychological effect called the halo effect, which means things that you talk about people will associate with you. What you talk about most changes how people see you. He says that there's this hot dog restaurant, but secretly inside the hot dog restaurant there is a bar. And to get into the bar you have to go through this secret telephone booth. Now the bar spends absolutely no money on advertising. It is only spread through word of mouth. And this is because people that get into the bar feel special. And this is social currency. Just like my mom looked at the flowers and felt really loved and special. And people that shared her post might encourage their sons to do the same. Now the second thing Jonah found was triggers. And triggers are like habits. What provokes you to think about a product? Kit Kat took this to use and started marketing their Kit Kat product with coffee. In all their video advertisements and billboards, they started showing the Kit Kat product with coffee. And because of this, their sales increased by 33%. This is because when people saw a coffee, they associated it with a Kit Kat, so they went and bought a Kit Kat. The trigger for my mom's post was that tomorrow's Mother's Day. The third is emotion. Now there are positive and negative emotions. And what Jonah found was that there are special emotions that are positive and negative. A post that showed awe, excitement, or humor in it is more likely to be shared. A post with anger or anxiety is also more likely to be shared, but something that showed sadness or contentment did not get shared near as often. This is why videos of cute puppies often get shared, and why the famous Susan Boyle has almost 200 million views on YouTube because she shocked and awed her audience. Number four is the public idea. What is everyone else doing? This is why the Livestrong bracelets, those yellow wristbands that everyone wore, got so popular because everyone started using them, it only sprung the growth even further. Apple was facing a predicament. Did they want their Apple logo on the laptop to face towards the customer? Or did they want it to face outwards so that other people could realize, hey, they're using an Apple product? Well, they went with putting their Apple logo on the outside so that people could see it. They can see someone using the product. If you saw 300 people using a product in your town, it must be a pretty good product, so you're going to try it out yourself. The fifth is practical value. And this is huge to my channel. Just like my video Sleep Smarter, of course people are going to share a video that helps them sleep better. Or like growth hacker marketing, a friend of a family member may know someone who is starting a startup and needs some help. And that video can help them, so they'll share it. If someone shares a post, it'll make them seem helpful and everyone wants to be seen helpful and that is why this contributes to the viral factor and the last is stories if I gave you all these steps in order and didn't tell you any stories with them there would be lower viewer retention not near as many likes and hardly any comments Jonah says an idle chatter is when information is found just like the famous blender company Blendtec, they created will it blend it's easier to talk about someone blending up an iPhone than it is to talk about some amazing blender with high-tech revolutionary blades and such the same with a secret bar it's easier to tell a story than it is to go through traditional advertising. And if you take these six steps, as Jonah calls them, you are on your path to creating viral content. Create something that your customers will want to tell their friends about by making it a story that they can talk about when they're sitting in the doctor's office. And remind them of it by associating it with a trigger, such as the day of a week, like, like Rebecca Black's famous Friday song. If you want more videos like this, subscribe. Click the like button below if you really enjoyed this video review. And also go check out my social media channels. Thanks for watching.